How's it going YouTube? It's PhysicsYZ here. Now today I'm going to bring you a debt profile. This is my prophecy build which I took to the Doncaster Regionals yesterday. Um, I came 14th place uh, which means that I have qualified for Euros. It was via pass down unfortunately, um, couldn't manage to get the top. Pretty close though, it is the best that I've done in the Regional season so far. So I'm actually really proud of myself. Um, I have <laughs> did actually no testing with this deck. Um, I've been busy with work and stuff. Um, and it was just basically theory, um, because I've played the deck for that long, I just kind of put something together that I thought would work. Um, and yeah, it did really, really well. Um, I really enjoyed the build. I'm probably going to uh, try and edit this variant of, of Prophecy and get it a bit better, um, so I can obviously take it to the upcoming regionals. I think the next one is in Manchester in two weeks' time, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I might be able to do a lot more testing with the deck um, now that I'm getting used to work and the whole sleep pattern and stuff like that, so I'm not as tired now, so I'm actually going to start making videos, which is obviously good news. Uh, before I get into the deck profile, just want to say congratulations uh, to a couple of people who go to my locals, Carol Bibble, uh, Kyle Cooley, Sam Golden, um, everyone like that, uh, Liam as well, who topped the event yesterday. Uh, congratulations to you on getting your invites to Euros as well. Hope to see you there. Uh, also, congratulations to our teammate Ben. Uh, he actually came ninth place, so he was one position off, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, but it's nice that me and Ben have obviously qualified for Euros. Um, it takes a lot of pressure off. Um, so we are actually legitimately going this year, um, which is obviously going to be really fun and really cool. And I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, congrats to the people who topped yesterday and onto the deck profile. Um, so for the main deck, I obviously played three blue boy, three spell magician of prophecy. Uh, staple in any variant that you play, you obviously need the three blue boy. Uh, next, uh, this is kind of where the I've changed the deck around. Uh, three high priestess of prophecy. I decided to play this variant um, for kind of fun. Um, I've always, as most of you guys know, um, I absolutely love High Priestess Prophecy and I wanted to play a variant based around her. Um, I just love how you can special her from hand, the hand advantage is absolutely amazing um, and throughout the entire day yesterday I was able to special her in two, even three of these at a time, just pop everything on the field, tap the game. Um, it's such an amazing card, and I basically built the deck around her. So to accompany her, to Justice, obviously you want um, Activate Spellbook, um, Banish it, add this to hand with another Spellbook, so it's basically a plus one um, if you go one for one with the Spellbook you use, for example a Crescent, a Secret, Masters, etc. Um, even with a, um, if you activate a Wisdom or a Power or something like that, even a Tower, it's still a one for one. Um, but you basically add in the Priestess to hand, which is the most important bit. Um, I didn't play three of Justice because you kind of don't want to draw multiples, so instead I played one Temperance. This was advised by my teammates, and it did actually win me a game. I didn't see it as often as I'd like, sometimes I sided it out, um, but when I had a bit of a dead hand, uh, which only happened once yesterday, but Temperance got me out of it, uh, managed to get the Priestess from deck, and I just basically went beat down with Priestess. Um, and the final monster, one Veiler. Um, I like Vela in the deck. Um, I'm probably I'm considering taking it out. Uh, yesterday I didn't go any, against any Firefists or Gear Gaia, which I was. This is kind of mainly aimed for, um, but it did work against uh, Light Swans and against which other matchup did it help against? I generally can't remember my matchups. Um, yeah, completely forgot. <laughs> but um, it did put in work against one of the matchups and another one which I can't remember. Um, I never used it for a synchro summon or anything like that. Uh, by the time I actually draw this, I'd already more or less won the game. So that's it for the monsters. It would it's ten monsters. Uh, I'm either thinking I might cut the Veiler, um, but like I said, more testing will uh, tell me in due time. Uh, onto the spells, three secrets, obviously. Um, Standard, two tower, no two masters, there's no need to explain any of this, it's in every single build. One power, uh, one fate, absolutely busted. Uh, one life, two wisdom, you're obviously playing the priestess build so you want to protect it more. Uh, I only played two crescent, uh, the reason being is I play um, 
some more cards in the deck which help me get the consistency issue. Um, you kind of want to have this in hand, but you just don't want to draw uh, multiple copies. Um, the, uh, the percentage of this deck opening, uh, basically either this, um, Secrets, Blue Boy, anything like that, is high enough already. Um, and I find myself actually in previous builds actually siding at least one or two of these out. So I thought I'd test it by just cutting one of these. It was just space issues really. Um, I decided to cut this for the temperance and the temperance just worked out uh, so much better yesterday. Uh, and the final spell books are two attorney. Uh, that's it for the spell books. Onto the non spell book stuff. Three up start goblin. Um, this just helped with the consistency like I said. Um, with the uh, crescents, um, you kind of have to choose whether you actually want to activate this or a crescent. Uh, this, like, is the, it's the Hoban theory again. You've probably seen it in many deck profiles before. It's a 37 card deck. Um, in this deck, you don't really OTK, even though I did uh, like twice yesterday for some reason. Uh, I'll explain that play in a minute because it was absolutely busted. Um, so, giving them a thousand, especially when you've got a 2 5 beat stick, and power basically is that other K. Um, so it doesn't particularly matter uh, because she's going to beat him down any other priestesses. Um, Book of Moon, again, it's one of them defensive spells. It's basically a trap card. And the final two cards, two MST. Uh, you're popping a lot with priestess, uh, so I thought I'd cut this down to two. Um, just play a preference, to be honest. Uh, onto the traps. 1-1. One, one. Uh, oh, drop card. Uh, two Phoenix Chain. Two Mirror Force and Triple Reckless Greed. Uh, this um, combined with your consistency that, already, that you already have with your, your spell books, with adding off Justice and adding off um, Upstart Goblin, just basically meant that I could go double or triple Priestess all day long. It's what won me games um, and it just really helped with the consistency. Um, Reckless Greed. In my opinion, works a hundred times better in decks such as Prophecy and Dark World due to the fact that your field spell um, just allows you to carry on drawing. So essentially, this is just a plus two, um, and then your tower uh, is acting like what would be your normal uh, draw phase, um, and it just helped so much. <laughs> uh, onto the extra deck, um, I bought a Drago sack off my teammate Rowley, so shout out to you, bro. So they obviously. Uh, this is Drago Sack. <laughs> um, Big Eye and Hierophant uh, for the rank 7s. Um, I went to Big Eye a lot um, due to the fact that obviously you have multiple priestesses out. Never went into Draco Sack, I just preferred to have the two pops off uh, priestess. Um, a Down Magician, Morlis brought this out every round. Uh, a Dweller. Um, reason behind this was the fact that I had a lot of space in my extra deck. Um, and you can actually banish a Magician. Uh, uh, banish a magician and special another magician off uh, life um, and then I play rank 4s in my side deck so it was just like a theory just in case I wanted to go into it and the because blue boy is obviously water this would actually go up to 2-2 two, uh, two, two. so it's just kind of a little theory thing uh, Zen mains uh, obviously you play justice and you play temperance uh, the rank 2s are the most important so shining elf, phoenix, gachi and herald um, I went to these three didn't go into herald I'm, I'm surprised that I actually went into gachi to be honest uh, because I'm playing Maynard Vela, um, I also play some Synchro, so Crimson Blade, a Scrap Dragon, Stardust. Uh, these, Vela, Priestess, symbol. Um, Katasta, Banish Blue Boy, Special Blue Boy, Normal Summon Vela. And Arm Arm, uh, Vela, and a Temperance or a Justice. And two Cat Tokens. Um, side deck, Double Kaiku. Um, in the past regionals, I find myself going against a lot of Dark Worlds, Bujans, and the Mirror Match. So I kind of wanted this in for them and for a lot of Rogue Matches. Um, this also hurts uh, the Dragons, obviously they can't banish for their big Dragon Rulers. And just getting rid of all their Dragons in Grave is absolutely amazing. Um, this also was siding in against um, Twilight, uh, Light Swans, whatever you want to call it. Um, which was pretty OP. Uh, so I actually did cite the Kaikus. Two Max C's for everything that special summons, Mermails, Gear Gaia, and Hieratic Rulers. Uh, two System Down, uh, the Cyber Dragon deck, and the Gear Gaias. 
Uh, also gadgets which I played yesterday. The third MST and then the one twister, obviously, to help me with all that. Uh, it's basically your counter side deck cards. Uh, two overworked for Fire Fist and Bujins. Uh, I actually went against Harpies, in which this was actually really, really good against as well. Um, two Rivalry, uh, just in case I went against Constellas, uh, Medolce, and Evil Swarm, which I didn't. I think this was the only card that I didn't side in, um, if I am correct. Oh no, I did actually side in. I sided it against Light Swarms, but I never saw it. <laughs> uh, two Mind Crush, everything this format nearly searches. So, Mind Crush is just one of the most OP side cards ever. And Soul Drain. So yeah, that's it for the deck profiles guys. Like I said, um, I came 14th place. Um, I ended up going 5-2 uh, in total, which was my final score. Um, like I said, it's the best that I've actually done at regionals. Oh, oh, oh Priestess. Gotta love the Priestess. Um, to quick go over my matchups, um, Round 1 played against Harpies, I lost that unfortunately by 100 life points, <laughs> sad face. Uh, round 2 played against Cyber Dragons, uh, be that 2-0. Uh, round 3 went against Gadgets, 2-0 uh, that. Um, round 4 went against Mermails, uh, lost that 2-0. Um, bit of a misplay on my part, but oh well. Um, round 5 went against Light Swans, round 6 went against Bujins, round 7 went against Hieratic Rulers. Um, so yeah, 5-2, decent score. Uh, to tell you about the little combo thing that I did, uh, which was actually 10.5k damage in Prophecy. Um, <laughs> yes, believe it if you want. Um, I, my end field was a Digusto Phoenix and two Priestesses, which them attacking directly is 8k. Um, and then, because I'd used two upstarts the turn before, or during the same turn, I can't remember, um, he also was on 2k life points. I book a moment priestess face down, faded it back up, tap the game. That was pretty sexy. Um, <laughs> uh, against Hieratic Rulers, um, I went special and priestess, special and priestess, special and priestess. Um, popped their entire field. Um, powered up this one, two books in grave, went to attack directly with this one. Um, he went Swiss Scarecrow, so I faded it down. Um, and then he was on 6k, so this was 2-5, this was 3-5 with the power, uh, which was pretty smexy as well. Um, so that's it for the deck profile, guys. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, this is, like, obviously the Priestess version. Um, I, I love the Priestess, I can't help it. Um, I will bring you um, deck profiles of my other variants of Prophecy. I did actually play Spellbook Stun uh, a couple of weeks ago, which I need to bring the deck profile for. Um, I have all the cards and everything like that, so I'll rebuild it and deck profile that. Other than that, guys, um, I have people messaging me uh, giving me their deck profiles from the weekend, so I will try and bring you as many uh, deck profiles that topped at the top eight from yeah, yesterday's Doncaster Regionals. I'll bring you them throughout this week, so do look forward to them. Other than that, guys, I'm testing with my uh, team on Wednesday. I'll bring you uh, duels and deck profiles then, uh, and just basically look forward to more content from my channel. So it's been FuzzyXYZ. Please thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment below, and FuzzyXYZ. Catch you guys later.